Let's set up the sound settings in a VirtualBox 6 virtual machine. What we need to do is right click and go to settings or just click the settings button, either one. Both takes you to the same place. Click on audio. Now if you're on a Windows computer, you're going to see the host audio driver for Windows Direct Sound. If you're on Linux, you'll see something different as well as Macintosh. First off, you want to make sure the box is checked to enable audio, unless of course you don't want it, then you can uncheck it. But we'll, we want the audio, so we'll go ahead and check the box. Under the host audio driver, if you choose the null audio driver, then even if the enable audio is checked, you won't hear any of the sound through the host. So make sure that you leave Windows Direct Sound checked. Next thing is the audio controller. So you've got a few different options. It's going to default to the Windows, I'm sorry, the Intel one in most cases. It will try to detect your audio uh, car card, but it may not always be successful. So what I recommend is that you scroll through each of these and then start up the virtual machine and until you find one where the sound works. Now you have to shut down the virtual machine in order to make any changes. So once you, uh, you know, find out that your sound doesn't work and you want to change the audio controller, just shut down the virtual machine, change it to one of the other options, and boot back up. Extended features, we have enable audio output and enable audio input. If you want to use a microphone, you'll have the enable audio input option. And of course, enable audio output basically just puts the sound out through the speakers that you have set up on your Windows computer. Once you have everything set up the way you want, just click OK, start up the virtual machine, and once again, try one of the other options uh, in those uh, controllers if you find out that the sound still does not work.